Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to Aviator War in the Skies. Now, this game was recommended to me a couple days ago, and I checked it out. I thought it was pretty darn cool on the Steam page, so I wanted to check it out with you guys. Thank you, Phoenix, for recommending it. Um, it it's it's going to be a historical game, uh, kind of about World War II and the, the Polish pilots. Here in a few seconds, I will play the, the introduction, but I wanted to make sure I talked to you guys first before I... I played that. So we'll see the introduction and then uh, we'll go ahead and hop into the game. So I'll see you guys on the other side. The year is 1939. Hitler and Stalin divide the continent into their spheres of influence, crushing the old order of Europe into dust. They conclude a pact that makes Poland, the Baltic States, Finland, and Romania their prey. The Germans and Soviets raise armies to crush their opponents with greater numbers of modern equipment. In both armies, armored units become the main strike force. But it is the massive and unprecedented air power that opens the way for the German Blitzkrieg and the Soviet march westwards. On the 1st of September, the Second World War breaks out. The Germans launch an invasion of Poland. The Luftwaffe deploys almost 2,000 aircraft of various types. The Polish army opposes these forces with less than 500. The enemy's advantage is 5 to 1. While the Polish Air Force inflicts proportionally greater losses on the Germans, it stands no chance of winning. By the end of 1939, almost all Polish aviation personnel make their way to France. Polish pilots bring the most valuable skill of a pilot, combat experience. Of the two combat squadrons, only the first Warsaw Fighter Squadron takes part in combat. After the surrender of France in June of 1940, most of the Polish pilots evacuate to Great Britain and initially continue fighting as part of the Royal Air Force. In the UK, the Polish government in exile works with the British to organize an air force once again. The squadrons are formed. The 302 Poznan Squadron, which is the first to enter service, and the most famous Warsaw fighter squadron, the 303, which achieves great success in the Battle of Britain. Polish pilots serve not only there, they fly in a dozen or so squadrons of the Polish Air Force in the West. Bombing squadrons 300 and 301, logistic squadrons and special purpose squadrons. Regardless of their unit and function, they risk their lives, often remaining out of the spotlight. Aviators. All right, looks like the first level is Hangar. Page Halifax, Mark II. Our little winged home. Over 5,000 parts and systems. 17 tons empty weight. A crew of seven. Top speed of 282 miles per hour. However, without the ATA's help, any aircraft is just scrap. We are the ones who escort damaged planes to repair bases, risking our own lives. We recover planes shot up in combat so that they can continue to serve, including in flights to Poland. All available pilots are already on duty in fighter and bomber squadrons, on missions, training and patrols. And that is the only reason we women are finally allowed to get in the cockpit. Hey, good for you. No choice. Someone has to risk their lives and transport these shredded coffins to repair bases. And every plane, no matter how shot up, is priceless. So we fly in Barracudas, Hurricanes, Mustangs, Oxfords, Spitfires, anything with wings, or at least remnants of wings. <laughs> you know, the voice acting's been pretty good so far. Flying in the back seat, mostly reporters. But the price of feeling like a star for a moment is fear and nerves pushed to the limit as we fly these clattering wrecks to the next repair base. Fortunately, I'm not alone. Anna Leska, oh, 
That is, Lieutenant Lesker can fly anything from a bomber to a balloon. Today, the takeoff went smoothly, but then it all started without even a warning. <laughs> all right, I'm guessing we have to keep this plane up in the air. All right, time to check the instruments. All right we're in the plane here. Let's see what we can do. Looks like we got to fix some things up here. I'm leaving my station. This is cool. The graphics are good. I like this. All right, let's pop on down here. Is that the the bombardier control there? That looks like that was bombardier control. We got the the radio underneath us. Um, what is this? I don't know. I have never flown a plane before, so I have no idea what half this stuff is. Um, but there's quite a bit of it. Pocket watch there. Can we pop up this way? Yeah. All right. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to contact base via receiver. Reset power section and contact plane pilot Zumbach. Uh, okay, that looks like a. This looks like a. a um, oh, what's that thing called? You know where all the power is in your house. Golly, why can't I? Can't I think of it? Your breaker switches. Um, yeah, that looked like that was breaker switches. We got a bag here. Uh, new entry added. The silent on scene. Okay, we'll have to go back and look at those in a minute. That's going to be J for journal. That checks out. Um, okay, so a lot of stuff. Yeah, so this game's going to be a lot of history things. So we're probably going to see quite a bit of that. Uh, I don't think we want to exit the plane quite yet. Um, we got dual mounted machine guns. There's a guy over there just uh, moving some stuff around. Hello, friend. Hopefully everything's going well. Um, I don't know what we got back here, but I don't think we can go any further back that way. So let's head back to the front of the plane. Um, can't do anything that. I don't think we want to get out quite yet. Contact base via receiver. Reset power section. So it's not letting me interact with the breaker box or anything like that. That's the exit. I don't know what any of that stuff is. Um, can't get back in the pilot seat. Okay, let's start with... I don't know what this is, but let's start with this. This is the true course set variation at VSC. Um, okay, so I don't think we're supposed to do anything with that yet. Let's go ahead and get this, because I'm assuming that's going to give us some history for the front Vickers. Oh, that's a machine gun. Okay, so that's not actually anything to do with bombardiers or anything like that. All right, what do we got down here? Um, some more stuff I can't necessarily read. Do, do, do. What is this? Can I click on the switches? No, I can't click on that. Can I? I can't bring my mouse over there. All right, so we can't do anything here. So my guess is we have to do something with this panel, maybe? This looks like we might be able to reset something. Danger, 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 danger. Can I reset anything? No, no, thank God we're not doing this in real time or we would be uh, SOL. All right, this looks like a radio. Let's see if we can contact base via receiver here. All right. Um, Zoom in, out, exit. Looks like we click this here. Okay. Radio communications. So let's see if we can find the station. I hear a voice. The HQ probably uses, uses the, the black, black 155, 155 megahertz frequency. frequency. Okay. Um, so 155. Oh, we can hear someone here. What's he saying? Oh, they're about to bomb someone, huh? Okay, so let's go down a little bit more. Is this us? It was flashing red. Around 155. Filter. Oh, there's machine gun fire. They're getting shot at. I am on 155, aren't I? All right, um, yeah, we're on 155. Oops. So do I have to leave it on this? Okay, so we're out of that. And is there anything else I can interact with? Let's back out here. Okay, so, well, they stopped talking. All right, maybe we do have to pop out of the plane. I mean, that's where that thing's at, so let's... 
Oh, we can run. Okay, shift to run. Let's see if we can pop on out of here. All right, contact base via receiver. Reset power section. So I wonder if the thing's hooked up to an external generator. Again, graphics are pretty cool. This is really neat. Oh, there's the plane. Look at her there. All right, let's see if we can do anything down here. This looks like this is the generator. Um, power section. Or is it some sort of compressor? Not sure. Can I hop up? I can't hop up. All right, what's the uh, the bulldog with some bombs on it there? Nice. There's all the engine works. Yeah, they really filled out this whole environment. This is neat. Can I pick up the bottle? No. Okay, I suspect I wasn't supposed to leave the plane. I don't know. Let's go up this way. See if there's anything over here. Uh, looks like that's a Vickers. We can grab whatever this is. The doubting system. What about up here? Oop, first to fight. Grab that one. All right. Our mission, if we choose to accept it, is to grab all the journal entries. All right, what do we got in here? More stuff to grab. We got a typewriter, uh, couriers. This looks like this is the briefing room. We've got two in here to grab. Okay, Polish government exile and the role of Polish pilots. There's got to be a lot for us to read. All right, what about over here? Uh, another thing we can grab. John Zumbuck. That's the guy we're supposed to contact. Okay, a little heater. Another thing to grab there. Man, we are gathering all the information. Okay, well, let's go back to the plane because I don't think this is what we're supposed to be doing. Is that a Spitfire? I think that's a Spitfire or some sort of plane there. Um, yeah, we'll just take a peek at everything. Why not? Yeah, we can grab this one here. Maybe. Is that the duck? There's a duck there. Yep, it's a Spitfire. Okay, nice. Av gas. I've heard of that before. Range of planes. Big old turbine there. Alright, let's go back in the plane. See what we can find here. So again, we're here in Aviators. This is the first mission, Hangers. Let's pop them up with our, our female pilot. I forgot her name. Um, let's see, I can look out that window, but that doesn't do me any good. Back here, there's nothing. All right, um, let's go back up to that radio. That seems like to be the only thing we can, can do anything with. Um, cause yeah, there's nothing in these panels. All right, for a, a <laughs> for a game I am pretty much struggling with, you would think I would figure it out by now. I promise I have multiple, uh, higher education degrees okay so we're back in the radio let's fiddle with this okay they're a half a minute out okay now we can't hear them I don't hear anything other than static, other than at this 15.5. Am I supposed to listen to this whole thing? Alright, we're just going to listen here. Oop, more machine gun fire. Okay, so it's just going to keep replaying. 155. I am on 155, aren't I? Well, let's go up. This is aircraft Lima Whiskey 208. Oh, there we go. I request a connection with the White Waltham Airport Control Tower. Over. 
This is White Waltham Airport Control Tower. Zumbach listening. Tense situation. Please hurry. Over. This is Lieutenant Pilzutska. I wanted to find out if the mechanics will be available before the flight today. Over. No, we don't have any mechanics available. All technical staff have been working at full combat readiness since dawn. All personnel assigned to aircraft maintenance are in the Red Eagle hangar. You'll have to manage on your own, Lieutenant. Extraordinary situation. Let's continue this conversation on the internal channel. Changing frequency, over. I understand. Thank you for the information. We'll manage. Switching now. Pilzutska out. Okay. <sighs> Without the techs, we're going to have our work cut out for us. <sighs> the transmitter overheated again. I'll work something out. If something stops working, you have to switch it off and back on again. Hmm. <laughs> the more things change, works. the more they stay the same. Trick. Okay, so what's the... Either like 230 or 400? Is that what it's saying? Alright. Let's go up to 230, which is this one. Okay, that's not doing anything good. Uh, Alright, let's try 400. Six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 400 on the yellow. They're still in combat. That's not getting me anything. Okay, 730. 750. Anything in here? No. Nothing there. Alright, 4.5 and 5. Here's 4.5. Nothing there. 5. This is Lieutenant there we go. Pilzutska reporting on the Red Blue Channel. Over. Well, Lieutenant, we are in a bit of a pickle, but not to worry. Get the checklist, map, destination coordinates, and navigator's tools from my desk. Get the Halifax and my Spitfire ready for flight. After all, at war, we have to manage under any circumstances. As always, I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Leska, please report for tactical briefing. Transmission ends. You mean I'm the one in a pickle, Commander? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... We gotta go back to his office, even though we already did that. Okay, I wish they would have explained the radio controls a little bit more, or made it more obvious where I was supposed to go, because I felt like I was fumbling around trying to figure out what color and line and all that fun stuff to go on. Because they just said internal channel, right? They didn't, like, say the red-blue or anything. They just said internal. And, uh, again, having never flown a plane, I have no idea what that means, let alone how to operate a radio. All right, so let's get uh, this... Well, we'll grab both of these. Caterpillar Club and All the right, list. let's see. Engine check, calibrate instruments, fueling, the usual. Okay, so let's go balance the fuel levels on that big old truck over there. Um, I'm assuming that's what we're supposed to do. Balance fuel levels. It's got to be what we're supposed to do, right? Like, why else would we... Why else would we do anything different? Well, there's the fuel cable going up there, so let's go see if we can... Balance anything on this truck? Or has it got to be internal? Maybe it is internal. Okay. Well, this is the, the Spitfire. Am I supposed to do anything with this? Some boxes to climb up on. Nothing quite there. Okay. Well, let's go back in the plane. Do, do, do. Running back. Running back. Running back. Well, I suspect these are going to be a little bit longer of episodes. So hopefully you guys are still around. While I'm climbing up into the plane, let me know what you think so far. Or tell me what's going on in your life. Uh, always love to hear that. Uh, it's, let's see, it's a Saturday. Anything fun this weekend? Um, doing anything exciting? Alright, so this must be where we balance the fuel levels at. Alright. Fuel pressure, fuel what tank... What was it that my father used to say? Alright. Stress, mess, depress. Up is filling the tanks, down is draining, middle, pump off. Easy peasy. Okay, so we gotta balance... I need to make sure I get this right. If I start pumping this the other way round, that's going to be a mess, all right. 
Right. All I have to do is pump the fuel out of the tank that has the most of it, but only so much that the others can be equalized by pumping into the least filled tank. Okay, that, that makes sense. So we got fuel tank one, we're at like just above 20. Two is still just above 20. Um, fuel tank six is at 20. So is five, four. So I think we need to drain two a little bit. Right? Let's see if two starts to drain here. Now, why is two going up? H for hint. Okay. Oh, so I got to click here, I think. No, why isn't it doing anything? Okay, that down. All right, let's hit H for a hint, see what it has to say. Okay, so pictograph one, and then two has those spinning to move the fuel, and then three is balanced. So do I have to, oh, okay, so then I have to, so I got it draining out of two, so then I probably want to increase in four, five, and six. So then let's, ooh, okay, that moves pretty quickly. So that's bounce, that's bounce. So one needs to go down and four needs to go up. So let's put this here. Um, four can stay up. Close that, close that, and drain four. Okay, that's good. Maybe just a little bit more. Nice, okay, we got that all figured out. All right, so what are we doing over here? Am I checking the engines? Um, check engines. So, engine starter. Okay, that all powered on. Oop, okay, two engine failures. Okay, why are they all failing? Okay, so let's try this again. I need, to I need to focus more. All right, let's see what this says. Okay, so open the switch. It goes yellow, and then we click the button. Okay, so turn that off. Yellow. Wait for it to go green. All right, no. Do we have to click it while it's yellow? Okay, so that one's working. Shoot, so I gotta go quicker. I need to focus more. Okay. This is uh, a little more complicated than I thought it would be. Does it have to be a certain startup order? Alphax 20. Okay, let's try this. We'll wait for it to go green again. Okay, engine two's on. Wait for it to go green here, and then engine four, and let's see if we got this. Go green, baby. Oh, All right. Hell, there's something wrong with the electrical system. Oh, something sparking. Yeah, that's fine. We can do sparks. All right, oh, so we got a bunch of smoke. fuses. Fuse box, that's the word I was looking for earlier. All right, um, so let's grab yellow and take yellow. Um, looks like yellow goes here, and then red is going to go there, blue is going to go there, and black is going to go there, oh, or green. Done. The starter should work now. Okay, so back over, pump up the wheels. Okay, so that should all be taken care of. Let's go back outside, down the ladder here. Aren't you glad you guys get to see me screw around with this? Because I am horrible. I would not have survived World War II. I would have been casualty day one. Plane would have crashed. It would have just been ugly. All right, back down here. Looks like, oh, this is an air compressor. Let's go ahead and turn the air compressor on. The wheels look underinflated. I need to check the pressure and top up the air if necessary. Okay, so let's increase the pressure. All right, they look like they're inflating. Compressor PSI. All right, so that 
should be starting to put... Oh, I gotta click it. Okay. Alright, there we go. There's the green bar. Oop, nope, 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 nope. There we go. So we gotta keep it in the green. Come on, baby. Fill up, fill up. There we go. Excellent. Look at us. Alright, now we gotta pick up the map, the computer, and the ruler in the office. Alright, back upstairs we go into the office here. That looks like the compass or the computer. Map computer. Interesting. Got another thing we can grab here that we can look at later. Banjan's list. And then we've got to open the drawer, get the map. And North then. Sea. This is my map. Nice. And then the uh, ruler here to help us. Ooh, the phone's ringing. Papa John's, how may we help you? This is Lieutenant Pilzutska speaking. Lieutenant, I had a feeling you'd still be in the office. Did you find everything? What's that supposed to mean? Yes, I've got everything. Excellent. Please plot the flight plan at the navigator station. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. There's no point in checking the proximity radar without activating the IFF system in my plane. So I have one more task for you, Lieutenant. Please turn on the friend or foe recognition system in my aircraft first, and then start Monica in the Halifax. And one more thing. Please refuel my plane as well. At your service, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're at the training ground. Uh... Yes, sir. Okay, so let's go do all that fun <gasps> stuff. Organized. I should probably just start with approaching the navigation desk. All right, so is this the navigation desk? Boom. Okay, let's throw our map, compass, and computer down. Here we go. Um, this will ooh, be a this... simple task. Plotting a course means connecting the starting point, which is our airfield, with the destination, meaning the training ground. Okay, but which is which? Because um, you're not really giving me a, a hint here. Okay. So, looks like we click click some different points. Um, I have no idea which one we are, though. Was I supposed to be paying attention to that earlier? So, we got some charcoal marks, it looks like. Is this us? No? Okay, didn't like that. I guess we're going to click all these. Okay, and then where's the training grounds at? 54 North, 52. Okay, so if this is... Oh, I have not read a map in a very long time. 54 North. Um, or 130 East. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. RAF Airfield. Um, 51, 52. Okay, 51 and a half. So we are... This is 52 and a half, 130 East. Okay, so this is the bottom coordinate, so we need to go to 54, 2, 53, 54, and then 30, uh, 0, 30. So wait, is it this, that, this one, 54, 30. Okay, so those are the two we're going from. Now, I don't know which one is which. I'm assuming... Okay, so we got the two marked, and then we have to use the ruler plus the map to generate a line. So let's just move this down. There we go. Okay, we got that drawn. Oh, there's the gauge. Beautiful. We can get navigating. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess we, we mapped it. Uh, that was interesting. All right, so let's hop over here to the fuel truck, get the plane filled up, and then we gotta turn on the friend or foe beacon so we can test our IFF. All right, open this door up here. Big old generator, it looks like, woof. Hand crank start, wonderful. But where's the crank? Ain't that the million dollar question? Okay, I'm guessing it's in this box here. I can start the engine with this. Beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. Go to the truck and tank. Spitfire. Okay, so then let's do this. 
Am I gonna have to crank this a million times so it wants me to click the button? Okay, clickety click, let's go. Any day now. Space. Oh, it's not as easy as I thought. Okay, so that's going Cranked now. Up. Fired up. And then we'll click on this. Still no idea what we're doing. Turn something on. Fuel supplied. Okay, and then we gotta turn on the IFF or the friend foe beacon. Thirteen German aircraft downed. <laughs> Not a bad score. Identification. Okay, so that System thing's activated. doing its thing. With this wonderful thing, no one will mistake this plane for a Messerschmitt. <laughs> okay, so let's hop back in our plane and test the, the moniker radar. Alright. And let's pop back over here. Oh, this thing again. <laughs> oh, we struggled way too long with this. Okay, so we should be able to... Oh, this is cool. Focus. I don't know what that means. Task accomplished. The aircraft ready for range tests. Monica is detecting Kachor. I've got confirmation that the friend or foe system is working. All right, well, good now for us. see all around you. No bandit can get close to surprise you. Excellent, Lieutenant. Well done. Great. Well done indeed. The aim is ready. Thank you, Yaja. I'll just finish the formalities and we'll be good to go. Okay, well, that was a fun episode. Um, I'm going to pause it here before we hop into Baptism of Fire. So if you've enjoyed that, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. I think there were six episodes total. Uh, so hopefully the, the next episodes get a little more exciting and you guys don't see me bumbling around trying to, to get an airplane ready. That took way longer than it ought to have. Uh, but you know what? We made it through and that's okay. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.